guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought that it would be fun to try to make some popular Starbucks drinks at home with recipes I actually found online. My five drinks I'm going to be making, all the recipes are fairly simple and they can really help save a lot of money if they taste like the original drink. So I'm excited to try this out and see how it goes and let's just get into it. I am excited. Three of the recipes are exactly the same. It was in a PDF for like Starbucks baristas that are training and the other two I couldn't find the exact recipes but I did find homemade versions that look like they're basically the same. I thought that I would start off with the most basic drink. This is one that I get a lot. The basic iced coffee with milk. All I need for this recipe is a little bit of milk. I'm using almond milk, which I normally get anyways at Starbucks, so it's gonna be basically the same thing. We also need some pre-made iced coffee that's refrigerated and brewed strong. Some vanilla syrup. I actually got this at Target, and it is the Starbucks syrup. So we're gonna see if it tastes the same. We also need ice. Pretty important for an iced coffee. The first step is to put three pumps of syrup into the bottom of the cup. Um, wow, that is a ton of sugar. Got the tablespoon. On the PDF, it listed the order that they put everything in the cup, so I'm just going to be following that step by step. Syrup. Next, it calls for four ounces of brewed coffee. Now we are gonna do two ounces of chilled milk. Two ounces would be four tablespoons. After you add the milk, then you're supposed to stir it up. Then it says to fill it up the rest of the way with ice until a fourth inch below the top of the cup. I remembered to get the cups at Starbucks, but I completely forgot to get straws. So I'm gonna use these. They're not quite the same color, but they're like a lighter shade green. Alrighty, the first coffee. I got a tall iced coffee when I went to Starbucks and put it in this cup. I got it with vanilla syrup instead of classic because all they have at the store are vanilla and caramel. This was like the shade it looked like when it had the ice in it. Now I'm going to try each of them and see how they compare with how they taste, how sweet they are. They're actually almost the same. I think that mine was just the slightest bit sweeter. I would just add maybe a tablespoon and a half instead of almost two tablespoons of syrup into it, and then it should be about the same. The other thing is my coffee is slightly less strong than Starbucks' coffee. The syrup definitely does taste the same that Starbucks gave me as in the bottle. This is way more inexpensive to make at home than getting it at Starbucks. When I went, it was $2.65, I'm pretty sure, to get it tall, but you can make this at home for, I'm sure this is less than a dollar. Our first drink went really well. The next drink is Starbucks's very popular caramel macchiato. This is another one. I found the exact recipe that Starbucks uses online. We'll see if it actually tastes like the caramel macchiato. This would be so much cheaper if you can make it at home because they're like five or six dollars, which is kind of insane. I'm gonna get the ingredients. To make this drink, you need a milk of your choice. One shot of espresso, the Starbucks vanilla syrup, and some caramel syrup. Or, no, not caramel syrup, caramel sauce. Actually, it says syrup on the bottle, but in Starbucks's website, they call it caramel sauce. This one also showed the steps that you do this. I'm gonna start off by putting a tablespoon of syrup at the bottom of the cup. The next step is to fill up the cup with milk halfway. Then you add ice until a fourth of an inch below the top of the cup. After that, you put a shot of espresso over the iced coffee. Now, I do not have an actual espresso maker, so I'm just going to be using some of the strong brewed coffee and putting an ounce of this over it. The last step is to take some caramel sauce and drizzle it over the macchiato in a crosshatch design. Starbucks uses smaller pieces of ice, so it kind of stays on the top better. Mine kind of just all sunk down. Wow, this is really pretty. It actually really looks like the caramel macchiato. How some of the coffee and the syrup drip down to the bottom. Let's try it. Mmm, that's good. When I was looking online, it said that the iced caramel macchiato has vanilla syrup at the bottom and then the caramel sauce at the top. But I feel like this tastes more like a vanilla macchiato than a caramel macchiato. So if you want it to taste like a caramel macchiato, just switch out the vanilla syrup for caramel and you'll be all good to go. Other than that, this tastes really good. It doesn't taste exactly like Starbucks's. I feel like you definitely need an actual shot of espresso for this to taste the same. As for looks, this did look pretty similar to the Starbucks one, so I would say probably 8 out of 10 stars. For how it tastes, 6 stars maybe. It definitely tastes like a macchiato, but it doesn't taste the same as their caramel macchiato. But it's still fun to try. 
have the famous Starbucks pink tree. I actually just tried this for the first time yesterday and it is really good. I did find a recipe and it seems like it'll taste the same. You will need white grape juice, some hibiscus tea, coconut milk, some freshly sliced and freeze dried strawberries, as well as some ice. The first step is to brew four ounces of strong hibiscus tea. The rego of the tea is officially brewed, so we're gonna let that steep for around 10 minutes. Now we're going to combine all the other ingredients in a cup. First off, you'll need two ounces of grape juice, specifically white grape juice. Next, we need to add in four ounces of coconut milk. Oh wow, the tea bags are pink, so I'm pretty sure this is turning the drink pink, which is perfect. This is actually a lot darker than the one at Starbucks. Let's try it. This tastes a lot like tea, and the pink drink doesn't really, it just has a slight fruity flavor. I'm actually going to pour this out, and then I'm going to add in a little bit more grape juice and coconut milk. There we go. Now it's starting to look a little more like the pink drink. And then I actually have some freeze-dried strawberries. So I'm going to put those in as well to give it some strawberry flavor. Time to blend it up. I think I definitely got it to taste more like the pink drink. It's definitely not as sweet as Starbucks is. I'm sure they add sugar. I've already had so much sugar though, just with making the first two drinks. So I don't really want to add any more added sugar. Now we're going to add in some ice. Now for the strawberries. Time for the final taste test. Personally, I feel like the pink drink kind of tastes a little artificial in my opinion, and this tastes a lot more like the hibiscus tea. I think I actually like this better. As for how it looks, I would give it a 9 out of 10. I think it might be a little darker, but other than that, it's the same. As for how it tastes, I'd probably say a 7 out of 10. You can taste the coconut milk and the strawberry. It definitely added more hibiscus tea than it needed originally. You just need a little bit of that. Just use 2 tablespoons or so in your drink. Overall, this was really fun to try. I think it's super cute and it's a great drink for spring or summer. The next drink we'll be making is a matcha frappuccino. I've actually never tried Starbucks's matcha frappuccino specifically. I do love matcha lattes and I've had a lot of their frappuccinos before but not specifically the matcha one so I'm not going to be able to judge this compared to theirs but I I think it'll probably taste pretty similar. First off, of course, you'll need a blender. Some type of milk. Starbucks does use whole milk. I'm going to be using almond milk, so I'm also going to be adding in some dairy-free nut pods, French vanilla creamer to make it more creamy and taste more like a frappuccino. You'll also need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, some matcha powder, I did one and a fourth teaspoons, as well as some sugar, I did one tablespoon. And of course, you'll need some ice. We'll start off by adding one cup of almond milk to the blender or your milk of your choice. I'm gonna do a little less and then a cup so I can also add in some creamer as well. Now we're going to add in our matcha powder and vanilla extract. Then last but not least, of course, we need our ice. Now we're gonna blend it all up. Before I pour it into the cup, I'm going to taste it and see how it is to make sure we don't need to add anything else to it. I added a little bit of the creamer and I'm going to add the tiniest bit of the syrup. The matcha powder that they use has cane sugar, which I did use in this, so it's very lightly sweetened. I did see that they also used a frappuccino syrup as well as their classic syrup, which neither of those are sold at the store. So I'm just going to add a little bit of vanilla. So we're gonna blend this up again. Oh, and we got our matcha frap. It actually really looks like the picture. This might be a little darker green, so if that's the case, you can always just add a little bit more matcha. The cool thing about making this at home is you can really personalize it to how strong you want the matcha flavor to be. I really like this. I've tried matcha lattes before, and I think it tastes really good as a frappuccino as well, especially in the summertime. If you want to make this like an actual frappuccino, you can add whipped cream and a little sprinkle of matcha powder to the top of it as well. Okay, honestly, I think the matcha frappuccino Cappuccino that I just made is probably my favorite out of all of them because it's so good. I love matcha. The very last thing I'll be making has been my personal favorite drink at Starbucks lately, and that is the coconut milk mocha macchiato. You'll need a shot of espresso, syrup, some caramel and chocolate sauce, and ice, of course, some milk. The first step is to add a little bit of syrup to the bottom of the cup. They actually use a special mocha syrup, which again, they only have these two kinds, at least at Target. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of the vanilla. I'll do just a tad, and then I'm going to add a tiny bit of chocolate sauce so we get the chocolatey flavor, and we'll kind of sort that up just a little bit. There we go, homemade mocha sauce minus the coffee. The next thing is to fill it up halfway with our coconut milk. 
It actually says to fill it up to the third line. Next up is filling it up with ice. Then we add a shot of espresso. I made the strongly brewed coffee and I did add some instant coffee as well to make it extra strong so it will be more like a shot of espresso. is full already so we have this espresso on top and the last thing is to add some chocolate syrup and some caramel syrup but now I'm gonna try the iced coconut milk mocha macchiato okay yum I am happy this one for sure tasted the most like Starbucks's actual drink out of all of them that I tried to make and honestly I feel like this is pretty spot-on so I'm very happy it definitely helped adding the instant coffee to the strong coffee that I had already brewed because it tasted a lot more like a shot of espresso if you don't have an espresso maker definitely would recommend that and then also the coconut milk macchiato at Starbucks you can really taste the coconut flavor and the chocolate flavor and with this you can too also I think it worked out really well putting just a a little bit of vanilla syrup at the bottom with some of the chocolate syrup because that definitely made it taste more like the coconut milk mocha macchiato and not a vanilla one. I'm really happy with this one. Now what I'm gonna do is rank all five drinks in order of how close they are to the actual ones at Starbucks. The coconut milk mocha macchiato comes in first. In second place comes the iced coffee. It was almost exactly the same. The only difference was the coffee was a little less strong. In third place, I'll say the matcha latte because I feel like this really would taste like Starbucks's if you added a little extra sweetener and did whole milk, so it's exactly like theirs. In fourth place, I'm gonna do the pink drink. It definitely wasn't the same. It didn't taste as artificial. It tasted a little more like the tea than the refresher, but if you just make sure to do less tea and add some sugar, then it'll definitely taste very similar to theirs. The last one is the caramel macchiato, which definitely would have tasted more like the actual macchiato if you used caramel syrup. I actually have made a caramel macchiato before, and I did use caramel syrup, and it tasted a lot like Starbucks's, but I did see on the PDF with the Starbucks recipes that they used vanilla syrup, so I'm not sure if they actually do. It's still good, but it's a vanilla macchiato. Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and seeing me try to make these drinks just like Starbucks does. I will say when I was planning out this video in my head I had it set that I was gonna make all these drinks and they would taste exactly like the ones at Starbucks but that didn't quite happen I don't know I feel like none of these taste exactly identical but honestly at least these three taste pretty similar. Definitely would cut down on the amount of syrup that I used in these drinks in the future. I think Starbucks's drinks are so sweet and the recipes I found online are even more sweet. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, I recently posted a video where I tried the Starbucks Barista's go-to drinks for a week. So if you haven't seen that already, be sure to go watch that. I'll have it linked down below. I hope you all have an amazing day. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Now we're going to try the iced caramel. No, the strong prop. I can't even talk. Oh no. Oops. Now the ice is really melted on these, so I better put them in the fridge. Oh my gosh. All the stuff I have to pick up. This is crazy. At least the drinks look cute.